Wood cabooses from the early 20th century came in a variety of shapes and sizes that are not well represented in the current O-scale market. I'm going to use AHM and Atlas bobber cabooses to do a couple of kit bashes. Caboose number one was just meant to be a quick replacement for my O standard gauge. The Atlas bobber has cast on roof walks and the AHM has separate roof walks. Caboose number one kit bash retains the high windows of the models. This kit bash just involved grafting the two models end to end. I made a custom underframe for this car. I wanted to simulate the fabricated steel underframe of the early 20th century. Caboose number two is going to be a little bit bitter, bigger project. Here you can see the different colors between the two donor cabooses. I wanted to have low set windows on this one so the windows have been repositioned lower on the side of the car. The molded on detail will be removed later and replaced with wire grab irons. The molded in roof walk will be removed later as well. I'm not going to make an underframe for this car as I'm going to make it a wood beam truss rod car. I started by making grab irons out of spring steel. That was too stiff. I then reverted to brass wire. That worked better. I decided I would frame the windows and put a small window sill. I'd also put on a rain awning above the window. New grab irons were made for the roof of the cupola. I decided to make roof walks out of scrap styrene. Here you can see the braces on the underneath side of the long boards. They were then positioned on the car and trimmed to length. And here you can see the new roof walks fitted to the narrow gauge bobber caboose and the standard gauge caboose. Underbody details were scrap wood, brass wire, and plastic tubing. The end handrails were custom made in place just for this caboose. It looks like it's ready for the paint shop. The interior gets a suitable color. I've chosen green. The frame and car body will get a primer red. A little dark brown for the roof sealed by a coat of clear coat. I decided to make an interior for this car as well. I used the KD coupler gauge to show me where I needed to trim the underbody to fit the top of the coupler box. After doing that, we can see that the coupler fits well. A test fit with the truck revealed interference with the truss rods and the bolsters. These were narrowed and repositioned. I then made a smoke jack fabricated from brass tubing. Brake wheels salvaged from the bobber cabooses and some plastic boxcar ladders complete the details. All that remains is a little bit of touch-up of scratched paint. I want to thank you for joining me for this video about kit bashing from bobber cabooses.